Hello and welcome to another Special Circumstances Review. Today we're going to take a look at another weapon light. In this case it is a um, neck, it's a pistol light manufactured by a company called Next Torch. Uh, Next Torch is a, uh, another Chinese manufacturer that's been around for a few years now and have a line of fairly innovative lights in general. Um, this one is the TL1. This is their first entry into the weapons light market. Uh, this is right about $100. Puts out 200 lumens of white light off um, one CR123 battery for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, body and mount is all aluminum. Hard anodized switch is plastic with a momentary and a constant on mode. No strobe, no nothing, nothing along those lines. So it's a very simple, straightforward light, which a lot of people do prefer in uh, weapons lights. Glass is actually glass. It's AR coated, anti-reflective. Uh, pretty good orange peel texture on the reflector. It's of course a Cree LED. Um, inside is also anodized. Where the battery goes. This means this is an energized one. We'll get back to that here in a little bit. And there's a, a rubber washer here to soak up, presumably soak up recoil impulse and keep the battery from uh, you know, hammering back and forth inside the barrel. So, uh, pretty decent light. Nice, nice beam. I don't know if you can see this or not. There we go. Nice and white. Not a whole lot of artifacts. Pretty good beam. You can actually see I got a little bit of soot on the lens still from uh, last time I tested it. Uh, mount works quite well. Um, it's very solid. Really don't have too many beefs with the way it fits. And we can actually, I'll show the test fit here. XD. You can see that it's clear. No mag. And it's a pretty straightforward way of Pretty straightforward to actually attach it. Kind of rock it on and just tighten it but with the finger if you really want. You could also tighten it with, you know, like a penny or a big flathead screwdriver. Nice and compact. Does not interfere with the trigger guard. You have ease of access. So, very easy. It's not really that much wider than the pistol itself. I do have one issue with the mount, and that is this screw here on the side. As you can see, when the mount's tightened, it sticks out significantly, and this is something that would be very snag prone. Um, I might take this at some point and actually file it down. Um, still playing with that idea, actually. Uh, works fairly well. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more of a positive return on the switch. Like going back to the start position, I'd like to see a little bit little bit more what do you call it authority in the way it returns to the switch it's kind of sluggish at times I can also see that switch actually getting fouled with with grit or sand or something like that and that could potentially be a problem um, I have a few issues with the light um, one I feel like it, it feels a little rough like the, the, the adjustment screw sticking out like that is kind of, okay, why didn't somebody catch that? It feels solid enough, but it's just, it's just kind of, well, it's kind of cheap feeling, honestly. For the same, roughly the same price, you can get a Streamlight TLR1, which admittedly is a bigger light since it uses two CR123s, but it also has much better build quality and has a you know, Streamlight made in the U.S. warranty as well. Um... So, here's the other issue, the battery. In this case, what we have in here is a um, Energizer CR123. Now, here's the issue with the battery. It gets stuck. So far, I've only seen this happen with the uh, Energizer CR123s. Um, but once, you, once it's in there, you literally have to use a pair of pliers. Grab the end of it here and yank it out 
that's that's a, that's pretty much a non-starter for me right there. Uh, that should just not happen. Um, the reason this happens, and I don't know if it's possible for you guys to see this, but right underneath where the um, you can see the threading here, right where that threading stops, right below that, there is a groove that goes all the way around the barrel. Um, what appears to happen is that the wrapper on these energizers, when you tighten down the top, the actual the head of the light, squeezes on this wrapper and it gets stuck. It, it like gets pushed into that groove and you can might be able to see here yeah here right there you can see where it's actually worn through because I've taken the battery in and out a couple times this part here is getting caught and sticking. I've only had this happen with the Energizer batteries uh, it doesn't happen with the titanium brand ones I've tried um, it shouldn't happen at all. Now I understand that it's good to have a tight tolerance in the barrel, uh, the battery barrel, because well, you don't want the battery to rattle around in a, in a weapons light. That's all fine and well. With the battery, it won't come out. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? You kind of screwed. So um, that sh that's something that definitely needs to be addressed. I'd also like to see just an overall sort of tweak on the feel of the light. The switch could be a little bit better, and of course, the the mount has the aforementioned issues. Other than the cosmetics and the issue with the battery and the switch, you know, the, the light actually works just fine. It produces a good solid output for the advertised time, and, you know, it doesn't flicker. There's no, no issues with the light's performance as far as actually using it while shooting. It's also very, very compact, which is, which is nice, you know, in a weapons light. It doesn't weigh a whole heck of a lot. But... I think with the issues that it has, you would be far better off with something like the Streamlight. Streamlight um, is arguably a better light despite being somewhat bulkier. Um, I just cannot recommend this light at this time, unfortunately. Um, Nextdoor is very kind in sending me this to review it, but that doesn't change the fact that this light does have issues that I feel need to be addressed. So. I think it's a good first effort, but this really should be more of a prototype, not a production item, uh, just from the issues that it has. These are things that honestly should have been caught in testing and design, such as, you know, the excess length of the screw, the battery getting stuck. I mean, these energizers are extremely common. They're everywhere. You can get them at Walmart, pretty much all over the U.S. This, this light should work with an energizer battery without the battery getting stuck. And this has, I've tested it with uh, well, several different ones from different batches. So it's not, a, not necessarily a manufacturing issue with these. And I've also never had an energizer battery get stuck in any other light. So that's a problem. Other than that, yeah, you know, like I said, good first start, but this should be a prototype. So. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.